The leaves were long, the grass was green, the hemlock umbels tall and fair, and in the glade a light was seen of stars in shadow shimmering. Tenuvial was dancing there to music of a pipe unseen, and light of stars was in her hair and in her raiment glimmering. Then Beren came from mountains cold, and lost he wandered under leaves, and where the elven river rolled he walked alone and sorrowing. He peered between the hemlock leaves, and saw in wonder flowers of gold upon her mantle and her sleeves, and her hair like shadow following. Enchantment healed his weary feet, that over hills were doomed to roam, and forth he hastened strong and fleet, and grasped at moonbeams glistening. Through woven woods in elven home, she lightly fled on dancing feet, and left him lonely still to roam, in the silent forest listening. He heard there oft a flying sound, of feet as light as linden leaves, or music welling underground, in hidden hollows quavering. Now withered lay the hemlock sheaves, one by one with sighing sound. Whispering fell the beechen leaves, in the wintry woodland wavering. He sought her ever, wandering far, where the leaves of years were thickly strewn, by light of moon and ray of star, and frosty heavens shimmering. Her mantle glinted in the moon, as on a hilltop high and far. She danced, and at her feet was strewn, a mist of silver quivering. When winter passed, she came again, her song released the sudden spring, like rising lark and falling rain, and melting water bubbling. He saw the elven flowers spring about her feet and healed again. He longed by her to dance and sing upon the grass untroubling. Again she fled, but swift he came. Tenuviel, Tenuviel, he called her by her elvish name. And there she halted, listening. One moment stood she, and her spell his voice laid on her. Beren came, and doom fell on Tenuviel, that in his arms lay glistening. As Beren looked into her eyes, within the shadows of her hair, the trembling starlight of skies, he saw their mirrored shimmering. Tenuviel the elven fair, immortal maiden, elven wise, about him cast her shadowy hair, and arms like silver glimmering. Long was the way that fate them bore, o'er stony mountains cold and grey, through halls of iron and darkling door, and woods of nightshade morrowless. The sundering seas between them lay, and yet at last they met once more, and long ago they passed away in the forest singing sorrowless. <laughs>